Since the coronavirus crisis began ramping up earlier this month, we've seen shortages of basics like toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and soap. We've also seen reports of people leveraging those shortages and trying to overcharge. Ten on your side's Lex Gray joins us now from home. And Lex, overcharging during a disaster like this is actually illegal. Yes, and Lena, you've probably heard of price gouging by now, as have our viewers, and you may be wondering what you can do about it. Well, first, you should know, as you mentioned, it is illegal, and that is both on the state and federal levels. On the federal level, President Trump's executive order is more focused. It's meant to prevent both hoarding and price gouging of medical supplies, so that would include things uh, like gloves and face masks. On the state level, that's where you can report inflated prices for everyday things, like you mentioned, toilet paper, soap, even water and food. So here's what you need to know to do that. In Virginia, I checked in with Attorney General Mark Herring's office. His press secretary said they've gotten 120 reports of price gouging so far, and they want people to keep sending those in. She said there is no exact threshold or number for what counts as price gouging. If it seems extremely high now compared to before the pandemic, it's worth reporting. That Consumer Protection Hotline number is on your screen. It is 800-552-9963. You can also email consumer at oag.state.va.us. You can also print a form from online and fill that out and mail it in. We have a link to all of that on wavy.com. In North Carolina, the attorney general can go after price gouging offenders in civil court for up to $5,000. If you see a price that has blown up since the coronavirus pandemic began, you can call 1-877-5-NO-SCAM. There's also an easier online form for those of you who are in North Carolina. We'll also have that link up for you on wavy.com. And in both states, when you do file that complaint, be sure to include documents like receipts, contracts, and pictures. Also keep in mind, these laws only apply to necessities. So if you see a really high price on something like a toy, you may not like that. But unfortunately, Lena, that is not a legal issue. That's interesting. That's very interesting that there is a difference there, but it makes sense. All right, Lex, thank you. We appreciate the information and you checking in. Good to morning. see you this morning. You too.